She's like my mom. She's like my second mom. Uh, I did everything I could for her. You know, I cooked, I cleaned, I, I took care of her. Did everything I could just to keep her going, you know, and then, and then this had to happen. You know. Officials say the flames engulfed nearly 50% of the home, and the caretaker living in the house said he tried to get 71-year-old Paulette Martin out of the house, but it was too late. I tried everything. There was nothing I could do. I tried to go through the inside of the house, and the first explosion went off and put me down on the ground, so I dove through the window thinking maybe I could get to her window. The time I got out of the window, it was six-foot flames coming out of hers. Like, and I went towards the window, and it blew up. So. Christopher Buecher used to take care of Martin, and he says he's heartbroken over what happened. She was a great woman. She would do anything for anybody, never judged anybody. She was there for anybody, whether she knew you or she didn't know you. Give you the shirt off her back, and she was that way with anybody. It didn't matter who it was. Both Marion County fire officials and sheriff deputies responded to the scene early this morning at 175th Terrace Road in Silver Springs. Later on, fire marshals were in the area combing the debris for clues. And neighbors tell us Martin was on hospice care and she did use an oxygen tank, but at this time, officials are still determining the cause of the fire. This is just um, a very tragic incident and we're, we're hoping that, you know, our investigators will be able to put a, a very quick close to this. Um, you know, it, it looks like that they are, um, they have some clues and, and they're, they're hoping to bring some closure to the family. Reporting in Marion County, Alicia Tarrant. Con GTN News.